Uh, it's, it's a very, very difficult situation here in what is considered the world's poorest country. And at night, when there's no light, no running water and electricity and stuff, you can certainly see how that would be possible. Uh, and uh, you, as, as we would be driving along down those bouncy, bumpy roads and just looking out at this landscape and just thinking, how can people survive in this? How is this possible? Well, it's possible. Um, but we are really out at the edge of, of humanity where we're, where we're out here. We went out to villages, they said there was, where we went out one day, they said that you have about, uh, I said, well, what, what is further past this? And they said, well, if you walk in the bush for about 10 more kilometers, then you, you'll see one more village. And then after that, there's just nobody. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, I have never in my life, and I have traveled extensively, I have never in my life been to a place that was not on the map. I mean, I don't know if you are a map person. I am. I love maps. I always feel like if I've got a map, man, I got the country by the tail. You know, I can get around. I know what. But we're so far out in the bush that, you know, it's just, it's just really is, it's something. And when you, when you think about these guys have never heard any stories about Jesus. We experienced that a lot, a lot in Madagascar, the first time experience of anybody, you know, hearing uh, the stories. And uh, it's gonna take a lot of prayer work. It's gonna take indigenous people that live here, Fulani people. I don't see white people being the answer to this, you know, to bringing people to Jesus. Uh, it's gonna have to be indigenous people. And the first guys to start that the point of the spear in the, in the circumstances like that's very, very difficult. And I just don't think it's a coincidence that God would bring me all the way out here to the bush, this far out of the next to nothing, and uh, to work with several guys and, and then just to turn your back on them and say, well, hope everything's okay for you now. God bless. I don't see that. Well, one of the other uh, good things that I've uh, really enjoyed and my stay here has been the animal life. This is hardly, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> exotic animals and stuff, but there are always a lot of animals around. Uh, I, I go out at least an hour, sometimes two hours. I get up very early before the sun is even up and, and walk out in the bush and I sit by a water hole or I'll sit by a, under a tree and I'll look for the different birds and I'll take my little binoculars with me and and it's a, a source of tremendous pleasure for me. Uh, I did get to call my family last night. Uh, I left a message on Ashley's cell phone, so you know they can all listen to that message. And uh, uh, I appreciate Ashley. Hopefully, she's been feeding my birds out there because it's dead of winter right now, and I believe we have to help our, you know, our wildlife. So. I think just as God takes care of me, I have to try to take care of others that are less fortunate. So I'm, on, I'm sure next day, tomorrow, uh, around lunchtime, we'll be leaving this, city, this little village and uh, we'll go in, uh, uh, back to Niamey and spend Friday there, kind of doing some, maybe some of the touristy things, buy some other stuff, you know, to bring back to the States. And then we leave uh, Friday night at about midnight to head back to Paris and fly all night long and then um, and then leave out at like nine o'clock in the morning on Saturday and then uh, we get there at about four in the afternoon basically chasing the sun so uh, and then I'll be putting all this stuff on our our blogs so, but I uh, hope that uh, you've enjoyed being with me out here in the bush and uh, and Niger and that uh, you will listen to this and pray and uh, for Habadura and James and Musa from Ghana and Abedina and and um, Isa whose name literally means Jesus who's the one that I led to Jesus pray for him too um, that uh, God will richly use these guys and that many other people will come to to know Jesus uh, 
I appreciate you and your prayers for what we've been doing. I know that that has made the difference, and uh, and I, I take that very seriously. I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you right back soon.